If you could see the inside of your engine running on Shell Helix Ultra, you'd see how active cleansing technology really works. Continuously cleaning and protecting your engine. Shell Helix Ultra with active cleansing technology. Performance you can see. What we did in the past was to establish a cleansing platform as the main strategy and the main drive for Helix positioning. We are moving from the cut car campaign and showing even better how the oil works inside the engine. When we start to brief the agency, we were saying that we should show that we can clean as nobody else. We thought if you could see the oil inside your engine, what would it look like if it was using Shell Helix Ultra? And we thought about x-rays, but felt there might be a better way to do it in a way that didn't involve CGI or some kind of post-computer enhancement. We always get very strange uh, requests coming in. This was one, you know, can we make a first best car? Of course, we can do anything, uh, given the time and the budget. I mean, there's over 2,000 parts to a car, so it's not a giant airfix kit, it's a bit more involved than that. I mean, we've had to totally dismantle and strip down a car and copy every part and make sure it all fits. Even then, you've still got to hand make everything to make sure it all goes back in the same place. For this commercial, we've gone to Rattling Stick. They've got some fantastic directors, and Ivan Bird is one of those. The others tended to get a little bit absorbed in the idea that we were going to make and photograph a glass car, and that was the story. I even got excited about the fact that that was only the start of the story, and the real story was putting oil into the engine and making the oil in the engine experience not the product bit that you have to fit in, but to actually be the central spine of the story. The engine is twice the size of the real engine. I uh, did it by basically stripping down the real engine measuring all the component parts for the twice-up engine, so basically just the moving internals, and then recreating them in Perspex using a variety of machines which pattern cut all the parts, and then they were all bonded together with a special UV glue. Because it's all Perspex running on Perspex, it has to be reasonably precise, but just with enough play so it doesn't all seize up. Most people think the oil just sits in the bottom sump and then just splashes around an engine. But what you'll see, you'll see the oil move through the very fine oil ways into the bearings. And it's these oil ways that we believe are critical to keep them clean, to allow the oil to flow to the contacts in the engine, to keep the engine performing how the engine designer intended it to.